Hi, I am Diana Verdinieto, co-founder and co-CEO of Positive Luxury. The definition of luxury has changed. Luxury used to be synonymous with opulence and waste and uh, exclusivity. But today, um, luxury is more synonymous with this inclusive exclusivity, with being mindful about people and the planet, with craftsmanship, with uh, internalize, internalizing the externalities that are happening in the world, and really thinking about how they can have a brand uh, going forward that encompasses all the ethos that this new world um, has for us in the future. The three uh, key things to start your journey when you think about sustainability, first is mindsets. Secondly is action. And the, th and the third one is measuring the, uh, your impact uh, that has obviously against your actions. I would say that the most important things is to have a cross-functional team, meaning everybody that has uh, a dis is decision-making in the organization to have sustainability as a goal and as part of the job descriptions. And then how you're going to really embed that all the way through the organization. So it's not like a silo or an afterthought, but it's actually the way that the company behaves. Um, sustainability is not a trend, it's here to stay uh, because the, inter the externalities of the world are too wide and too deep and very much rooted now into the day-to-day -day of businesses. So I guess that the main thing is water scarcity. This is something that the travel industry needs to watch for. In fact, every industry needs to watch for. Uh, the second one is obviously, you know, um, the urgency to be more mindful uh, regarding energy. So we are actually have energy poverty now established in most places in the world. And I think the third one is being mindful about uh, food uh, and food waste. Uh, food scarcity is also uh, a deep rooted issue, uh, not just at the moment, but probably going forward because of the uh, unreliabilities of the climate and also the inconsistencies of supplies and yields. So businesses really need to be mindful in terms of how do they manage those three big issues, I guess, uh, which are at the core of hospitality, really. 2023, unfortunately, I don't have great news. So more volatility, um, uh, the redefinition of globalization, uh, perhaps going a little bit more closer to home um, and of course you know kind of the path to sustainability accelerating into moving from promises to actual actions and I think the third one is um, you know the fact that uh, you know recession is biting and we have a 1.6 percent uh, prediction in terms of global growth uh, China is slowing down for the second year in a row, so with a prediction of close to 4% growth. Uh, Europe, unfortunately, we have negative numbers, and in the US we have actually tiny percentages of actual uh, growth. So, I mean, uh, infl inflation and recession are pretty much a mega trend across the world. Um, but it's an equalizer, so if everybody's in the same boat, except from Vietnam, uh, if everybody's in the kind of same boat, um, we all will have the same challenges. So I guess the big opportunity for 2023 is innovation.